Good morning. I am off to Publix to pick up a couple of items. I wanted to try and get some yogurt. My tongue has been sore for the past maybe a week, I think. And it just it didn't seem like it was getting better. So I'm gonna try some yogurt. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. And I actually quit using my CPAP for the last two nights thinking that the CPAP was causing it. I'm still not sure. I might try one more night. Um, but I'm supposed to see the doctor that prescribed the CPAP next week. So we'll see. I don't, I mean, I thought it was doing some good. <laughs> But now I'm not really sure because the past couple of days I don't feel any different than I did when I was using it. I, I don't know. Um, I'm a little disappointed because one of the benefits supposedly of using it if you have sleep apnea is weight loss. And um, yeah, that part didn't happen. I did notice that I wasn't sleepy in the late afternoons, but I'm back to being sleepy like that exhausted pass out sleep kind of feeling so I don't know what's going on with that and I'm also going to get some walnuts because Julian asked me about um, making banana bread and the walnuts that I had are a little suspect so I think I'd rather just get some fresh ones and I do notice that now sleeping with the CPAP I feel a little more congested in the morning I don't know I feel I do feel like it protected me from allergens in the air at night. So I don't know, I might put that bad boy back on tonight. It did seem like my mouth was more dry this morning than it had been with the CPAP. The CPAP will dry you out. And I know that the allergens in the air cause my mouth to be dry. But you don't really want to hear all those gory details, do you? So, I've been watching a lot of videos from by a curly guy on YouTube. I don't know why I'm fascinated with his videos. Sometimes he seems, it's just something about him that I can't put my finger on. So I keep watching. But I am learning some things about how to take care of and style my hair. And I'm learning, you know, that I need to wash it more often. I can do co-washes, which I knew about co-washes before. And I did one last night and twisted my hair and I tried, like just sprayed it a little bit with water this morning and put some oil on it before I undid the twist. I don't think I should have sprayed the water. I think that's gonna cause it to be frizzy. But I'm learning. Um, I thought the water would help the curls clump and separate a little better but I think it's gonna cause frizz so but I'm learning about um, how to put the products on your hair um, how to define the curls and that I need a gel so I, I ordered some stuff from Target and it should be here some of it's gonna be here today I think but I need a leave-in conditioner and you know just things that I haven't been doing basically from the beginning, all I did was use my Dr. Bonner's um, soap, peppermint soap or the tea tree soap, and wash my hair, and that was it. And then I would put that um, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancer on it, but I don't think that was enough. And as my hair got longer, it wasn't enough. It was fine when it was just like that long. So now that I'm out and free, I might go to Dollar Tree. I was thinking about, I could sneak into Michael's. I don't know, what time is it? I shouldn't, I should be more responsible being that I have underlying conditions. But I do need to go to Dollar Tree to see if they have any more gloves and any more um, hand sanitizer. I'm wondering if they have hand sanitizer in Publix. I have not been here since we've been home. So this is my first trip here. Oh, and I want to get some lettuce because I want to 
start eating salad as my snack. It doesn't look too crowded. So the temperature is really nice. I was surprised. I thought it was going to be stifling when I stepped out the front door this morning, but it was not. Wow, it's been a long time since I've been here. It feels the same. I hope I'm not here during the senior hour or first responder hour. It's 920 something, so I think that that should be over by now. So I was gonna put on my gloves, but I ripped a hole in them trying to put them on, so that's out. So I definitely wanna try and get some more gloves because they are not good for more than one wear, really. And I need some hand sanitizer to keep in my purse or something. So anyway, let me go in here and get my few little groceries and I'll highlight y'all when I come back. Okay, I am back. I got everything that I went in there for and then some. Didn't seem like there was a shortage of anything other than cleaning supplies and paper goods. They had a few of both of those things, but just not a whole lot. Um, I didn't see any hand, san hand, sanitizer. hand sanitizer or bleach or wipes or anything like that. So, I'm going to hit this Dollar Tree and see if they have any of those things. And then, ooh, I forgot to get what Nadia asked me to get. Hopefully, I can get that the DT. I still feel really naked without gloves on. I wish there was, like, maybe some bleach solution I could keep in the car to, like, wipe stuff down with. The cases are really going have really gone down here, but it only takes one. So I was looking on the website last night and I put in my zip code and my and um there's 30 cases in my zip code. Which isn't a lot, but it only takes one. <laughs> I wonder, I might start, I used to do this a, a while ago, was eat a salad for breakfast. I might start doing that again, at least sometimes. Normally, I don't I don't really eat, feel like I eat breakfast, breakfast. I think I eat more of lunch, because I don't eat early. I eat late. And I might eat breakfast foods, but I don't really call it breakfast since it's not at breakfast time, if that makes any sense. So yeah, on the hair tip, I'm kind of excited to try some of these things and I'm excited to see how it works on my hair. Um, I'm kind of concerned about the gel thing that they've been raving about or that they do, that naturals do. But I'm gonna try it. But I don't like crunchy hair. I don't like that gel crunchy feeling. So I'm gonna try it and see how it does on my hair um, and I saw somebody tested the Luster's Jerry Curl Activator and her wash and go came out really nice so I'm going to try that if I can find it anywhere and then they use this um, spray bottle, it's a mist I, I have the name of it at home but when you pull the trigger it like mists, it's not like a constant pumping that you do with a regular spray bottle. I want one of those. So, they say they have them at Sally's. I don't really like Sally's. The stores are always so tiny and crowded and like right now, I don't think it's a good idea to be going in there. Plus they're very expensive too. 
I left my water bottle at home, so I had to buy some water. So my appointment is tomorrow, and I am surprised that I haven't received a phone call giving me instructions or letting me know if they're even open. I'm starting to wonder, are they even open? Because nobody's contacted me. All right, I'm gonna run in Dollar Tree and see about these gloves and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back out of Dollar Tree. They didn't have any of the things I went in there for, but they did have alcohol, 70%. So, the only problem with that is you can only buy one bottle. So, the one time that I leave the kitties home, I needed them because we could have got three bottles. But, that's like the next best thing to a wipe to me. It's just as good as having... Um, hand sanitizer so maybe I'll look up and find some more somewhere else I don't know I guess I can take this off now I think my breathing is really off I'm gonna take some more um, you start using that inhaler because I was in there panting like a animal. I'm trying to breathe with this mask on. Having to wear the mask is enough to keep me at home over the summer when it starts getting really hot because all this right here was like, whoo, it's hot in this mask. They mentioned that about when Disney opens that people are gonna have to wear masks and how uncomfortable that's going to be in the summertime. I don't know how people manage to go out there in the summertime. Because it's hot. I feel like I need some from Walmart, but I don't know what it is. So I won't be getting it today. Whatever it is, I can pick up with my next grocery order, I guess. So, my channel seems, knock on wood, seems to be coming back to life. And I looked at things, and it's it had a lot to do with the number of videos that I put up in March and April. Also, and YouTube likes you to put up a lot of videos. So, I've been trying to do something at least every day. Um, I don't have a reason not to do it every day, other than I just don't like editing. But I figured I could jump in there every now and then with a live stream. Um, I need to work on that part of what I do on YouTube as far as getting my camera right. I really want to get one of those Archon mounts too because I could use my phone more if I had a good way of mounting it or, you know, setting it up to use it. So... I did go live the other day when I said, when I talked about that, but I had to use StreamYard to do it. Now, when I go live on this channel, I just go into YouTube and hit go live and that's that. When I tried to go live over there, it was asking me about connecting to a streaming service and all. I don't, I don't wanna have to do all that. Why can't I just go live directly through? I don't understand the difference between the two accounts that it makes me use a streaming service. But, and then it has their logo on there unless I pay a monthly fee. I could use um, OBS Studio, but I do not like that thing. It's, it's so confusing to me. I fought with that OBS um, trying to help Julian when he was trying to do his gaming thing and then do picture in picture. That was what I found that would let him do that, but we had a struggle. 
trying to get that thing set up. And finally, I just told him, you need to find a YouTube video and watch the video so you can figure it out because I'm confused. This is, uh, I haven't been able to wrap my brain around how that software works yet. And so that's like the only thing that I've tried doing with it. We kind of worked it out eventually. But I opened it up the other day to see about maybe using it for YouTube because I don't want to pay for a streaming service. And it's free open source software. So I was going to try and use that, but that lasted all of five minutes. And I was like, oh, no. Mm -mm. I guess I can do the same thing I told him to do, watch a video and figure it out. So... Maybe I'll take some time to do that. It seems like I should be able to get more done now. I, I don't know. Stop piddling around in the morning time and get some, get busy. Oh, Chick-fil-A is busy. What time is it? They not. I wonder, are they still serving breakfast? I just want a tea. Let me take myself home because I did buy some ice cream. And even though it's not really, really hot. It's a little bit hot. I got some of those um, little ice cream cups for Julian. We don't really have any room in the freezer, so they did have some ice cream on sale, buy one, get one free in Publix that I'd never tried, and I wanted to try it, but it, it was the big gallons. I guess it's a gallon or pint. I don't know. It was, no, a quart. I think it's a quart. So you can buy one, get one free of the quartz, and I was gonna get a flavor that they like and a flavor that I like, even though I shouldn't be eating ice cream. But I was, I just wanted to try it. Then I thought, where am I gonna put it at? Because there's no room in the freezer. And I think I have a giant bag of ice down in the bottom of the chest freezer. But who wants to take all that stuff out to find out? So I just left the ice cream <laughs> and got the small little ice creams for him. Nadia will probably eat some too. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, and he's been using up all my coffee, making that blended something thing that he's making. So I had to buy more of that. Because even though I don't drink it every day, it's like when I get ready to drink it, I want it to be there, so I said, let me go ahead and buy another, um, some more of it or whatever. So, it feels good to be out of the house. How many days have I been in there? It's not even been that many days. I think the last day I went somewhere was, was it Friday? See, I don't even know how long I've been stuck up in the house. But it's been some days. So, see how my clumpy it is? I need to go in and divide the curls. But I don't want to do it too much because it'll get frizzy. Because I don't have any product or anything to put on there to prevent the frizziness. But, yeah. Yeah, because the last time I went somewhere, I went to pick up the groceries from Walmart. And I believe that was Friday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three days in the house. The most I went out was to take some trash out and put it in the big trash can outside. I don't think I've been outside for anything else. Three days in makes me feel a little, like I feel like I wanna go somewhere. I didn't really wanna go. Actually, I had to kind of make myself get up and get ready to go this morning. I mean, I wanted the yogurt and the um, walnuts, but I just was like, well, maybe I could just do it tomorrow when I go to the doctor and just do all that at one time. But I was like, no, get on up and go. Get it over with. Why people gotta play their music so loud? That's a pet peeve of mine. I might do that one or two days in the summer. Like I remember doing it one day last year was it last year? It was a Bruno Bruno Mars song. And actually, I didn't turn it up until I got in my driveway and we were unloading the car so that I could hear it while we were. <laughs> I just don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's because someone that I used... Well, someone that I know. I, I was going to say I used to know. 
did that and you would be in their car and it would just be vibrating through your whole body. It sounded horrible. It didn't even sound good. You couldn't even hear it because it was so loud. And I just hated it. And I had to suffer <laughs> because I was riding with them. So eventually I just wouldn't ride with them anymore because they would get offended when you asked them to turn down the music. I don't like that. <laughs> I guess I'm approved about a lot. Hopefully the trimmings is up so they can come get these groceries. Even though it's not that much, I feel like if I pay for it, then it's the least they can do is unload it. And y'all see my humongous arms. That's like my body part that I'm always, I don't care anymore. I used to wouldn't even wear short sleeves when I was younger because it's like, that's where my weight goes in my arms, and my stomach. And... I always was embarrassed about my arms being so big. Cause even when I was skinny for me, even when I was smaller, my arms were still huge. It's like, I can't just buy shirts and stuff. I have to try them on to make sure because they make the sleeves so small. It's a thing. I can't wait until my hair is long like the curly guys or not as long, but he's in school for nursing. So I wonder how that's gonna work with all that hair he has. I know he can like put it up on top of his head, but I can't wait till I can do that too. That was one thing that I loved about my locks is that I could just gather them up and put them on top of my head. And actually, before I had to cut them off, it got to the point where they were a little bit too long to do that. So it was like, I could do like a bob ponytail with them, but even then it was, it was a lot of length. So I keep waffling back and forth about whether I wanna put them back in or not. Since I've been watching these um, hair videos, I'm like, okay, maybe I should give this a, you know, a little more of a chance with the natural hair. So I'm gonna give it more of a chance. I'm gonna say if by my birthday, which is in December, I don't like to put limits on myself like this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and stick it out until then. And if by my birthday, sorry about the, but if by my birthday I still, I'm not pleased with how I'm able to manage this, then I will look into getting locks. But I have to say, ooh, it's a mess. I need to stop messing with it. Um, I have to say, I'm a little interested in playing around and seeing what I can do. Ugh. It's just a lot. <laughs> Y'all understand, I'm learning, I'm trying new things, so. Yeah, even crossed my mind for a brief second with all these channels that I have. I'm gonna be like Peter Monsoon with five channels. But I was like, man, maybe I should document my hair journey. I should have probably been doing it from the beginning. All right, so I'm off to home now. And yesterday was Nate's birthday, Nathaniel. Um, I think he was 22. You know, I lose count after they turn 18 or 21 or whatever. So yeah, but I believe he's 22. He asked me to pay his cell phone bill for his birthday, so I did that. to the house yesterday for any I thought about getting him a cake but I don't know I could do it this weekend if he wants one I 
should stop and get some gas, but I'm not going. Ooh, I think I should. Yeah, I better because I have to go to the doctor in the morning and I don't want to have to stop on the way to the doctor. Do I? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. That's done. One last thing I have to worry about doing at another time. Clean out my car when I get to the house. So I made progress on the um, electrical box replacement. I think I found the company that I'm gonna go with. I really wanted to go with the guy that came yesterday because they even offered to um, hook up a generator for you if the um, if you need you know if you need it. So that, I thought that was awesome, but his price was high. It wasn't as high as one of the other folks that I got. And he's using a, a GE box, and I had heard that they are not good boxes, not to go with anybody that um, used those panel boxes. So the guy that I'm thinking about going with, he's very nice, and also, the guy that came yesterday wanted to charge me $500 to pull a permit. And uh, the permit is only like a hundred and something dollars. So yeah, that was a little excessive. <laughs> and I understand it's a pain in the butt for them to pull a permit. And apparently it's unclear as to whether it's required or not. It depends on the inspector um, that you ask whether it's required or not, which I think they need to clear that up for homeowners or whatever but i'm gonna be on the safe side i want to permit so and he's okay with doing that and i checked his license with on the state website and everything looks good so he's gonna give me a revised quote and i just need to sign it and send it back and we can get started and maybe within the next two weeks i can have my dryer back so anyway, I'm home now, and I need to rally the troops to come get these groceries out of the car. So I will holler at you all next time. Bye.